When I was little, Jeff, and I'd get my allowance, I was spending it. I didn't care on what. I'm going <laughs> to find something. We're going to go to 7-Eleven, and we're going to get some big buddies. If you're old, you remember it. It was a big, long stick of gum. Anyway. If the Padres just had a pile of dough and they offered it to Judge and he said no, then that meant that they had it to spend. They spent it on Xander Bogarts. How did all this come together? It came together quickly, Scott. 11 years, $280 million for a 30-year-old <laughs> shortstop. We're seeing a lot more guys get paid into their 40s in baseball yep. when for a while there it didn't seem like anybody wanted to pay someone into their 30s. In Xander Bogarts, you look at the Padres, you're like, don't they have a shortstop in yeah. Fernando Tatis Jr.? Don't they have another shortstop in Hassan Kim? Yes, actually. But when the Padres went after Trey Turner and reportedly offered him $342 million, that showed they had money and that they wanted to add to their offense and build around not just Juan Soto, not just Manny Machado, not just Fernando Tatis Jr. and Trent Grisham and all the others, Jake Cronenworth, that they have in their lineup. They wanted to add a premium elite bat to that. It's, I mean, it's an incredible move, and the Boston Red Sox are, are just floored and shaken right now. They gave $90 million to Masataka Yoshida earlier in the day, the outfielder from Japan. Uh, it happens to be the same day that they lost their franchise player. And the second one, remember, Scott, that they've lost after trading Mookie Betts to the Los Angeles Dodgers a couple of years ago. It's just a, a final thought here, and this is on a night where Sports Center follows the NBA, and you think about the versatility of players that can guard one through five. You, you can play any number of positions simultaneously in theory. But in baseball, you got to stand somewhere on the field. And I'm just trying to figure out, as you point out, don't they already have several shortstops? Yes, Manny started at shortstop. Where does everyone fit? The way that the Padres have looked at it is this. They've toyed with the idea of moving Fernando Tatis Jr. to an outfield spot in the past. You know, they thought he's got the athleticism to play center field. It just so happens Trent Grisham is a really, really good center fielder. So Trent Grisham's going to stay in center. Tatis probably going to move to a corner. Right field seems to be the spot for him. Hassan Kim, who played really good defense at shortstop last year when Tatis was out for his PED suspension, going to slide over to second base. Jake Cronenworth, who's their second baseman, going to move over to first base to replace Josh Bell. Like, all the pieces and parts fit together. Cronenworth's played first base in the past. Kim can, you know, as, a, as an athletic middle infielder, can play second base. And Xander Bogarts, who there were questions about his long-term viability at shortstop, maybe eventually he moves off and goes over to third base if Manny Machado, for example, opts out of his contract after next season, which he's able to do. The Padres are not playing the long game here. They are looking very simply at, as we were in the National League Championship Series, as we lost to the Philadelphia Phillies, how do we take it over the top? How do we beat the Los Angeles Dodgers in the National League West to start off with? And how do we win the first championship this organization's ever seen? There's a lot of excitement in San Diego. And I was talking with an official a couple of days ago, and he was saying Petco Park rocks every night now because of this team we built. These fans deserve for us to go out and get even more. Right on. Uh, I enjoyed talking to you. Uh, I, I didn't know we were going to do it again. I would turn your phone off. We might bother <laughs> you. Jeff, I know it's been a very busy day. As always, your time's greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.